Hi, I'm Milo Jasper Finnegan Money, creator of Retrieve the Gem, or RTG, and welcome to this short demonstration of the new PC version of the game. In this demo, I will go over the interface and capabilities, as well as the drawbacks of this new product. The game begins on this grid sheet, known as the game board. This is where the units and terrain will exist and interact. These eight dashed lines are the game board dividers and do as their names imply. These dividers can be moved by clicking and dragging them, and deleted by holding them and pressing the delete key. But they cannot be retrieved after deleted unless a new game is started. Before beginning your first game in this new medium, we suggest you review the detailed rulebook, which contains everything you need to know about the game. And experiment with the tools and get to know and understand the interface. The game board is broken into two modes, interactive and passive. When passive, you can move units and edit their statistics. When interactive, you can utilize the five drawing tools. The drawing tools include pencil, line, eraser, fill, and color. They can be accessed in the tools menu or by hitting the corresponding hotkey on the keyboard. The pencil allows you to draw freehand. The line enables you to draw straight lines. The eraser allows you to erase anything that's been drawn. The fill tool allows you to fill an enclosed area with color. And the color tool enables the player to change to the color used for drawing. With these five simple tools, I will create a very basic game board to demonstrate how easy they are to use. shown you how one part of the game board works, but to show you how the second part works, I will have to first demonstrate another part of the overall interface, the army sheet. This can be accessed in the game's menu, and is used to create, delete, and edit units. The editing program can be set to anything that accepts bitmap files, but the default is paint.exe. These are some things players have created for the army sheet. I will now demonstrate the ease with which you can create units.
This unit can then be renamed. Saved. And loaded onto the game board by using the load tool. Once on the game board, the unit can be dragged around, flipped, rotated, made semi-transparent, and deleted using the keyboard. The units also have statistic boxes, which follow them around and can be removed if needed. With this game board, and the units in my army sheet, I will set up a very simple game of RTG to demonstrate how easy it is to use. This medium utilizes a simple principle. The computer knows nothing about RTG. The player is the one that defines limitations. This allows you to change the rules or even use this interface for something entirely different. This gives you the freedom of the original RTG, but makes it easier to use by giving you new tools. Thank you for watching this short demonstration of the new RTG game coming soon for PC. Please give me any comments or suggestions you have, and keep playing hard. Do